How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new update from the Old School Runescape team. This is for skill pets and family pests. This includes four new skilling pets, a new mini quest and tons of quality of life updates from the most recent content polls. So let's get straight into this and have a look at the skill pets. This is the second batch of skilling pets and we can get them for agility, farming, thieving and runecrafting. So first of all the agility pet. It's a giant squirrel. Obviously squirrels are fairly famous for being rather nimble and if you've got good agility patience and you can get the skilling pet then you would maybe not in real life but in the game be quite nimble. You can get this pet by going to any of the agility courses or from the Brimhaven arena where you get the tickets. The next skilling pet is for farming and it's Tangle Root. Tangle Root is a type of ant which you can get from farming. To me he reminds me of Treebeard from Lord of Rings because he's got that big green beard. Obviously you obtain him from doing farming activities, for example the Tiff Farming minigame, checking the health of your crops and harvesting the crops from fully grown patches. Moving on to the thieving pet, and this is a raccoon. Obviously raccoons are fairly famous for going around and taking people's things, or at least they're the myths I hear. Obviously you get this from stealing from stalls, pickpocketing NPCs, picking fruit from the sorcerer's garden and looting grand gold chests within pyramid plunder. Basically the majority of thieving activities. Finally, we've got the runecrafting pet, and this is the Rift Guardian. Obviously, you get this when you do some runecrafting at an altar, and it somewhat reminds me of the RuneScape 3 Rune Guardian pet. In RuneScape 3 with the Rune Guardian pet, you could change the colour of the Rune Guardian by crafting runes at a specific altar. This Rift Guardian has a very similar mechanic, where it will change its abyssal ball inside of it to match your most recently crafted rune that you had the pet with. This means there's a whole variety of different Rift Guardians you can have, and you can choose which one's your favourite and keep him like that. I quite like these skilling pets, they're quite graphical for old school RuneScape, and I think my favourite's got to probably be Tangle Root. He just looks like something you'd love to have following you around in game. And I see myself as quite a big RuneCrafter, so I'd love to get the Rift Guardian one day. I know a lot of these skilling pets have very rare drop rates, so I'm not going to hold my hopes up for it, but the Rift Guardian would be cool. Moving on to our newest mini quest, the Family Pest. The Fitzharmon family from the Family Crest quest have a small adventure for anyone waiting. If you want to get started with this, talk to Diminithes in South East Varrock to start off Family Pest. As a reward, you will be granted the ability to own one of each of the Brothers Gauntlets, which is the Chaos Gauntlets, the Goldsmithing Gauntlets and the Cooking Gauntlets at the same time. Previously, you could only have one of these Gauntlet sets, which is a bit of a pain for many players. However, now you can have all three. It'll be really useful if you're someone who actively wants to use all three as much as possible. I'm pleasantly surprised with this new mini quest. This is actually stemming from the recent content poll where they said, do you want to be able to have the ability to have all three sets of gauntlets for just paying 500,000 coins? Now introducing a new mini quest seems like such a different idea from the original poll question. However, I believe you will have to pay that 500,000 coins. And seeing as it's a mini quest, it doesn't take too much time for you to quickly do. Next, the Nature Grotto Agility Shortcut. In the River South, between the Fairy Ring Island and the Mort Maya Swamp near the Nature Altar, there's now a new Agility Shortcut, requiring level 50 Agility to complete. This should make it a lot easier to navigate around the area which is the Nature Grotto. In other news this week, we've got some quality of life changes and some bug fixes. Wearing items from the Rogue set increases your chance of pickpocketing double loot, with the entire set providing a 100% chance, meaning whenever you do go pickpocketing with a Rogue set, you're going to get double loot. The key that gives access to the Dark Beast Cave found during the Morning End's questline can now be put on the key ring. If only they did that with all different keys in the game, that would be very nice. The Staff of the Dead and its variants can now autocast the Crumble Undead spell. Slayer Masters will now offer to sell any items required when providing you with a Slayer task. And they've improved the keyring interface to provide instant feedback when clicked and display which key is adjacent to the current selection. In fact, hopefully that might mean they've recoded some of the keyring and they can in the future have a look at adding more keys to the keyring. Restoration pool delays are now only applied for PvP combat. They've removed redwood fence archways in order to prevent them being visible from the dungeon level. Ambient lighting has been added to the furniture in the achievement gallery to improve the colouring. Player owned house benches can no longer be removed by logging out while sitting on them. The Barbarian Salt egg conversion machine has been reverted back to convert eggs to a consistent colour. 
all gems mined from the gem rocks will now provide a chance of finding a clue geode. They've adjusted Watson's dialogue when asking about master clues. They've adjusted some spelling in an elite clue scroll. Players can now enter the Arzinian gold mine after defeating the demon before collecting the quest reward in order to complete the achievement diary task. Meaning that Between a Rock is no longer required to be completed to complete the achievement diary tasks. They've adjusted the price of the ornamental Amulet of Fury to account for its ornament kit's price. The jewelry box now displays the game's necklace instead of the necklace of minigames, which sounds like a rather weird name for a necklace, however I could imagine it being in-game. And the hit points bar now displays very low hit points correctly. Finally this week, we've got a new J mod. Mod Tom H is now a member of the Old School RuneScape team. He was on the RuneScape's QA team for almost 10 years, However, now he's joining as the lead QA on the Old School RuneScape team. So if he's ever in contact, say on a developer Q&A on his Twitter or whatnot, then make sure we're welcoming to him. Welcome to Mod Tom H. I hope you enjoy your time in the Old School RuneScape team, and enjoy finding as many books as possible so we don't have to. Like I said earlier, I really like the skilling pets. I quite like to get my hands on either a Tangle Root or a Rift Guardian pet. I'm surprisingly happy that they've added a new mini quest for that simple update of being able to have one of each of the gauntlets from the Family Crest Brothers. And obviously I'm fairly pleased with everything else coming into the game today. Everything's coming from the most recent content polls and I love the fact with Old School Runescape we do get to choose all of our updates that come into game. Obviously you don't always have to agree with them, but with the 75% pass requirement required to actually get in game means that even if you don't agree with it, then you can't really argue against 75% of the entire community. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or do so in my comments below. Click here if you want to watch my video on the latest Old School RuneScape developer blog, Raid Armors and Rewards. And if you want to watch my video on the latest Old School RuneScape update, please click here for the Construction Expansion. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the Old School RuneScape updates, dev blogs and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.